YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea Baldwin and today we are going to do what is in my gym bag and my gym must-haves. I get asked a lot what kind of gloves uh, I wear and just different things like that so I'm going to tell you all that and tell you what I have in my gym bag, what I carry on hand and everything. So let's get into this. All right, so here is my gym bag. Uh, it's not your conventional gym bag. Actually, I bought this bag at Walmart. So, what's in my bag? Well, first off, we have a shaker bottle. Um, this has been in there since I worked out earlier today. I always carry one of these with me um, because I usually drink BCAAs while I work out. I also don't really carry it in my gym bag, but always have with me a water bottle. The next thing we have in our gym bag is our headphones. And I love these uh, Bose headphones because they came in a super cute pouch and it's hard so you don't crush them or anything. They stay intact. These are my headphones that I use. They are the Quiet Comfort 35, I believe, the newest Quiet Comfort you can uh, get. I love them because they're noise canceling, and you put these puppies on and you ain't hearing anything. Uh, the bass in them is like phenomenal. However, I don't wear these every day at the gym. Uh, majority of time I do wear them, but if I'm going to be doing a lot of jumping up and down or a lot of cardio where I'm going to be sweating. I sweat a lot and I don't have a very big head so these fit me for like weight training and things like that but if I am like doing some high intensity uh, cardio I actually carry my back up. Uh, just regular earbuds. These are uh, cost. I got them I think at Best Buy. Uh, they were they weren't like super expensive. They're not like Beats or anything, but they have lasted me a really long time. And they like you you again put these puppies in. You can't hear anything. So these are good. I always keep them in there just in case. Also, uh, I forget to charge these and they're low or they die I have a backup so at least I have music because I have to have music to work out uh, another thing is, is I always carry my little iPod shuffle I think this is what it's called uh, and the only reason why I really carry this is because these aren't Bluetooth they actually have a little uh, cord that you have to plug it into something so I always keep music in this to go with those earphones these are Bluetooth wireless but they do come with a cord, so you can connect them to your phone if you want. The next thing I have in my gym bag is a must for me, um, and that's a sweat towel. This one is new, I promise. I just put it in here just for this video. But I always have to carry a sweat towel with me because I sweat a lot. And I cannot handle sweat running down my face. And I can't just wipe it with my hands and wipe it on my clothes. I just, uh, uh so I just keep a sweat towel with me so I can like pat myself and don't all get like looking like a hot mess. The next thing is something that every girl should have in their gym bag, okay? Us girls forget like feminine products and things like that and you know, we get in situations where we need things so this little bag is for that. We have a travel size hairspray. Uh, second thing is, is deodorant tissues. I have really bad allergies. I hate using toilet paper to blow your nose because it starts like hurting your nose, your nose gets all red. So I carry tissue papers just in case I have to blow my nose. Another thing is a hairbrush and I like this hairbrush because it's one of those that claps and then you get it out like that. It even has a mirror that I don't ever use. But it's, it's just one of those cheap things that you know sometimes you gotta brush your hair after the gym. Band-aids. Uh, usually your gym will have band-aids or, you know, like a, a first aid kit, but sometimes, uh, like the manager and stuff, like maybe they're on lunch or, you know, someone's not there in the office and you need a band-aid, you, you got some yourself. You don't have to ask for one. 
Of course, the next thing is, is again, feminine products. Uh, you always need to carry some of these. You never know what's going to happen. You never know when you're going to need them or a friend might need them. Dry shampoo. Okay, normally I do not have to fix my hair after I work out. Like I just leave it as is because when I get done with my workout, I'm heading straight home to take a shower. But every now and then if I need to run to the grocery store or something like that after the gym, you know, I kind of want to clean my hair up, you know, it's really oily after I get done working out, at least I have some dry shampoo on me and I can fix that and not go to Walmart looking like a hot mess. Another thing I carry in this little, tiny little bag, yes everything is fitting in this tiny little bag, is extra ponytails. Every now and then, you know, a ponytail breaks or you might have forgot one, you didn't go to, whoops, <laughs> uh, you didn't go to the gym with your hair up or, and, you know, you just need one, just these curly things that we need on hand just in case. I also have some bobby pins in here, I, I can't get them, but I know they're in here somewhere, but yes, feminine products, you know, just anything that you might need so you don't look like a hot mess. The next thing I have in my gym bag is my workout gloves. I really like these. I have shown them uh, in one of my videos before. I like these because they have an elastic uh, band around the waist. Around the waist, I meant wrist. <laughs> they have leather like padded things on your fingers and your, your palm. I will put them on so you can like better see it, but this is what I like is because you are able to cinch your waist down. So if you're like me, my wrist, you know, when I'm like deadlifting like a lot of weight, you know, I need that extra, extra help. Once you do that, it snaps there and then you wrap it again and you go around. So it all looks like that. They have, do not look girly, but and also this material right here is mesh so it's really breathable you don't start like sweating or anything um, and these I also have a link down below in the description box of where I bought these okay the next thing is is my sweet sweat waist trimmer um, I love this thing you put this thing around your belly and you are gonna be sweating um, I have tried many different uh, different brands like I've bought one from Walmart uh, you know the ones that zip up that have three different things or I've bought some that are kind of like this but this one actually is made really well I think I've had it since Christmas so I haven't had it for very long but again you know it just velcros you're allowed to put it around you and cinch it as tight as you can uh, they do have different sizes on these I believe this one was a medium uh, and I do have quite a bit of extra, um, you know, to wrap around. I think my waist is 28 inches uh, around my belly button. Um, but again, I got this on Amazon too. And to go with this, I have been using for a lot longer than I actually bought this, is their Sweet Sweat Workout Enhancer. I really love this stuff and I have been using it for, what, probably a year now. Um, and I don't know why it took me so long to buy this. Uh, I should have done it a lot longer. Now this stuff, um, I have always, I always have backups on my stuff, all right? So uh, here is actually a new one. The benefits of this gel is uh, targets slow response problems in injured areas, promotes additional increase in circulation, sweating, and motivation, accelerates warm-up and recovery time. It says it fights muscle fatigue and pain injuries such as shin splints, pulls, or sprains. And then this, uh, it has a natural uh, fragrance that creates a fresh scent during your workouts. Also, since this helps with circulation, uh, when you apply it to your stomach and put the waist trimmer on, it makes your entire body sweat more. So I really like wearing this on cardio because I put it on my stomach, I put the waist trimmer on, and I can tell that I start sweating a lot quicker. I sweat more, and it gets all those toxins and water weight out of my system. So this is definitely a must 
uh, in my workout. I don't use it all the time and I don't use it every time I do cardio, but I definitely do use it uh, on my stomach if I am feeling bloated. I pair this with the trimmer and usually a couple of days, uh, you know, straight using it, I can tell a difference in the deep bloating in my stomach. All right, next we have, and these are fairly new. Um, my gym doesn't have these. They only have like the, I call them booty bands. I don't really know if that's really what they're called, but the bands that are, you know, short, they're not, they're not this long, but <clears throat> I've been wanting some of these because I can't do pull-ups on my own um, or I can't do like 10 in a row. I can do five and then I'm, uh, you know, I'm starting to, I'm starting to hurt. But uh, I found these on Amazon. Uh, the brand is Power Guidance. I can't remember what weight these are. I believe the green ones were 50 to 65 pounds. Uh, I did use them today in my workout and my pull-ups and they are like perfect. I've been really wanting some of these. So I got some. I got another one here. The other one that I got is smaller and the weight is smaller. I think this one was 25 to 35 I believe uh, you can obviously tell it's a lot thinner I didn't use this one today but I got this one that was like I think it was the lowest uh, resistance that they had another thing I keep in my bag is a little barbell foam thing it snaps over the barbell and it has a little foam I do not use these when I squat a lot of people do and I don't criticize you for it if you do. When I first started I didn't understand where to put the barbell on my back. I was putting it right on my neck. Like where you have like a little, uh, your spine kind of comes out back there, I would put it right there. So I was like, man, I was like, you know, I have to have one of these because it's hurting my neck. Like I can't even squat. Now I put it like I'm like a low bar. Like I put it like way, way back here on my shoulders. So now that I actually know how to put uh, the bar on myself, I don't use this for squats, but I have seen people that do. It's whatever your preference is, but the reason why I do still carry this is because when I do a uh, hip thrust with a barbell and a lot of weight, it hurts my hips really bad. So that's what I now use this for, 45 pound barbell any kind of weight on your hips with a you know a metal bar is not going to feel good so if you don't even like need this for squatting this is actually really good to have if you do hip thrust okay and the last thing that's actually inside of my bag is this this does look like one of those waist trimmers where you see like a bunch of uh, people on social media where it's like do this and you know you can curve your body that's not what I use this for um, this one actually good lord uh, this one actually if you can see these little things right here are metal things in them for support which like they they won't bend very well so when I'm doing like deadlifts or something like that I don't do a lot of weight to really need like the legit like you know like belts that people use so I got this because it velcros it velcros together but it also has these little elastic things that you can tighten it together each of them um, do it so you can tighten it down and cinch it down and then these little metal things help your help support your back so I rarely ever use this anymore it used to a lot uh, but like I said only if I'm doing a lot of weight uh, like you know pulling a lot of weight or something that's uh, I need help in my lower back and support in my lower back I will use this but again I don't do uh, enough weight to have one of those actual legit uh, power lifting belts so I just get to do this and the brand of this is Fillin' Girl. I don't know. I got it off Amazon too. I get most of my things off Amazon. Okay, now I have a front 
zipper pocket right here. So I'm going to go through what's in that. Uh, the first thing is spray. Okay, we get stinky. Again, this is more feminine products. Uh, well, I mean, men don't need this, but I mean, you need to keep something smelling good just in case you gotta go somewhere after you're working out, you don't stink. So I got this in there. Another thing is I have this. Uh, it's just, it's almost, it's like a fitness fanny pack. <laughs> it really is. Just snap it around your waist and you can put stuff in it. It's really flexible. You can just stick your keys, your wallet, or whatever in it. Luckily, the gym that I do go to has cubbies, and I know for some people, they actually carry their gym bag around with them uh, when they're working out, but my gym has a lot of cameras, and I feel really confident that, you know, my stuff's not going to get stolen, so I'm really grateful that I don't have to carry my gym bag with me. I can just put it in the cubby with everything else, uh, along with my keys, my wallet, and everything like that without having to carry it around because I did do this for a while and not at the gym that I was at right now but I did used to use this and it actually got really annoying uh, because it was right there in my waist and I would hit it and it just it was very annoying another thing that I have that I don't use but I have used in the past or I've had had to use uh, at the gyms in the past and that's a lock for uh, a locker if your gym has a locker. That was the very last thing in my gym bag. That is all my gym must-haves. You know, it's really nice to have your own barbell pad and your gloves. Again, most of the things that I have in my gym bag I did get on Amazon. So I, I know I have a couple of links below like my uh, gloves and I will try to link where I got my uh, bands at and if you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you aren't already subscribed to my channel please do that below and I will catch you guys in the next video